So tell me, what are you bringing into this space today? All right. So have you ever been in love? Mm hmm. OK, so have you ever loved somebody right to the point where you know that they're not good for you? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Like, like, why do we put ourselves in these like situations all the time? And, you know, we always put like expectations on people and like we see that it's not the person for you, but we just won't let go. Is it something that I need to heal, you know, about me? Like I always get with people, like they like me, but it's like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm just kind of stuck with it. Like, I don't know. And then it'd be hard for me to let go sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I just, I'll be trying to figure it out. Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. Really, really great question. And a question where there's mm -hmm. not like a, a, a one all answer, right? It's, right? it's very layered right? as to why we have difficulty, mm -hmm. you know, letting go. But I this think sometimes it's helpful to explore, is that only within the context of dating? Mm -hmm. Do I have hard times letting go in other types of relationship? Yeah. Um, you know, have we experienced abandonment before that's jolted us to a place of like, anything that we do have, we feel like we have to clench our fists, you know, to make yes. sure it doesn't go, yes. go away. Yes. Um, so I think we have to explore what mm. have we experienced that has led to this pattern of behavior of having a hard time letting go. Mm. Mm. And, you know, I would be, I would challenge you to also explore, what do you believe about yourself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you believe you are deserving and worthy of right. because I heard you say like I see this isn't good I see it and it's like I know it and my good feeling is telling me like hey and then it's like I have to blame myself because I put myself in this situation so it's really like I can't really blame the other person all the time it's like you're the one who sees it you the one who know it, you the one who feel it. It's like signs are there, but I ignore them. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy that we ignore them because it feels good to us, but it's not good. And that's where I'm at with like relationships, period. So it's like, I'm trying to have that peace, you know, trying to stray away from that, you know, toxic, you know, cause you know, you do want healthy boundaries, just healthy everything. So, but it's like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I think in order to diagnose or, or, or to get something different, mm -hmm. we one of the biggest questions that I think is important for us to ask is why. Yeah. There, there's a reason that we engage in behaviors, even if it is behaviors that we find unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Even if mm -hmm. we can say, for example, I'm going to keep, I, I know continuing to eat fried food is not healthy for me. <laughs> And I keep right. doing it. There's a right. reason, right? right? There's something that we do get from certain choices we make, even mm -hmm. if we can identify that this choice is not good for us. Right, right. And so right. I challenge, you know, people to ask themselves, what am I getting from this mm -hmm. that keeps me here? Mm -hmm. Why do I continue to find myself making this choice, mm -hmm. even though I can say with my head, mm -hmm. this isn't, this isn't the best. Right. You own to something. You are on to something. Mm -hmm. it, it it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense.